Hi, I'm Ankit. Hope you're doing well. This is a simple and quick, easy video tutorial explaining how to capture your audio for uh, perhaps a music project or any sort of project that you may be working on. Um, this is providing or assuming that there's a producer involved that sent you some sort of track that you have to sing over or play a, an acoustical instrument over. All right, so let's jump right in. So the first thing you're gonna need is a USB microphone. If you have one, great. If not, I suggest you purchase one. I have a link in the description below to one that I prefer. It's $45 from Amazon. It's nice, clean, and simple. This one I'm using right here. Okay, for the sake of this video tutorial, I'm gonna assume that I have been chosen to sing over a specific section of a song. So I've been given two files and you should receive the same from the producer. If not, you should definitely ask for it. Uh, two files are one is a reference track, which essentially is the song, but with a temporary piano or something that's um, been placed so you know exactly when and where to sing. Uh, and the other one is a cue track. And that's basically the same exact thing minus the piano or the temporary track. So you can actually sing over them. All right, so on my desktop here, I have two files. I have the reference track and the cue track. Um, and I've been told to sing Swaminarayan Dhun, um, just one simple line. So let's go ahead and listen to both. Here's the reference track. Okay, pretty nice. Now the cue track should essentially be the same exact thing minus the piano. All right, so I've listened to it over and over. I know when to start. I've been practicing. I'm pretty much now ready to record. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find a nice quiet room at a nice quiet time in your home or wherever you want to record. Um, right now I'm in a little corner of my house and uh, it's pretty nice and, and quiet where I am. I have plugged my USB microphone into my Mac. The microphone is on this little coffee table here. The Mac is on this smaller, ta smaller table. And um, sometimes the Macs do not have an input for USB. It's just USB-C. So you'll need that little adapter that converts the USB to USB-C. But just pop it right in. Uh, keep your, your MacBook charged uh, just in case, uh, you know, it takes a while and you need, you need to keep the Mac uh, power on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open GarageBand, all right? So all Macs come standard with GarageBand. So I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna open up GarageBand. You'll see this little screen right here. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on New Project and then choose. And then you're gonna, in the audio section, you're gonna keep this right here, record using a microphone, right? That's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna keep input one selected and then check, I want to hear my instrument, okay? This is so you can kind of hear yourself as you're recording. Uh, you can, we can easily turn this on and off later if we need to. My instrument is connected with USB uh, PNP audio device. So that's the one that I recommend that you use, but if you have another USB microphone, then you can use that, but make sure that you've selected the input device as your USB microphone, okay? The output device can be um, set as, you know, your main computer. All right, and then everything else will stay the same, and then you click Create. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do, essentially, is just to clean everything up. So I'm gonna maximize the screen so I have enough workspace. Um, I don't need this panel and I don't need this panel. So there we go. Nice and simple and clean. Then you're going to change your project settings as directed by the producer. So you should get a tempo, maybe a time signature and a key. And you change that up here. So I've been told that this Swaminandun is in 90 BPM tempo. So I just kind of Bring this down to 90. I've been told it's in 4-4 and I've been told it's an F sharp minor. Boom. This right here is a track. That's me talking. You can even see that I'm talking here with the wavelength or the, the input. 
below that, we want to insert the Q track. Okay. So if we go back to my desktop here, you'll see that the Q track is right here. We had the reference track and the Q track. We just want the Q track. Okay. So I'm going to put the Q track right here. I'm going to start it at the very beginning. There we go. Now I'm going to rename this track above. Okay. So this is going to be called Funkit Vocal One, for example. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our headphones on. So any simple headphones will really do. Now, as you're talking, um, you kind of see the levels right here. It's very important, very, very important that you capture at a level that's comfortable for the audio engineers. And unfortunately, GarageBand doesn't have a numerical decibel value that they show. So really the rule of thumb is you don't want anything in the in the yellow or red, okay? If you look at this little circle right here, if you, if you push on it, it will say zero. And you want to keep it at zero. You really just want your capture to be right on the left of that circle. Make sure it doesn't get into the yellow. So I'm going to adjust my volume on my microphone. Also, I should mention that you need to be about the distance of your thumb and your pinky like this. So kind of make your fist like this and, and then have the distance between the thumb and the pinky. That's where you want to be. And then you want to kind of sing and talk and make sure that the capture is not too hot. So I'm going to go down even more. Testing, testing. One, one, two, three, four. Mm, testing. One, two, three. Okay. I think that should be good. Um, when we capture it, we'll kind of adjust from there. All right. This would be a good time to go ahead and save your project. You've kind of set everything up. So it's very simple. Command S, or you can go up to File, Save. And I'm going to call this Ankit Kun Vocal. Okay. And I'm going to put this on my desktop just because that's where my other files are. All right. Now, a couple of things to note. Um, when I'm ready to record, I can push this button right here or I can push R. Uh, spacebar plays the track and enter or return uh, brings the timeline back to the beginning. Right, this right here, one, two, three, four, gives you a nice one, two, three, four count before the track starts. And then here is the actual click. You typically want to reduce the cue track. It may be a little bit too loud. So I'm going to do that here. I'm going to reduce it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and record. Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana. You want to keep doing that over and over until you're happy. Now, let's say, for example, you wanted to kind of overlap a couple of tracks. It's very easy. You simply go to track, new track with duplicate settings. So just click that. So then now what I can do is I'm going to call this Ankit Vocal 2. Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana. Then I can come down to Ankit Vocal 2. Record. Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana. Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana. Swami Narayana, Swami Narayana. So you can create multiple tracks so you're comfortable singing, making sure it sounds good. You know, if you had messed up, just delete the ones that you don't need and things like that. So keep repeating this process over and over until you are completely 100% satisfied with your capture. There are a lot of other functions that you can be doing in GarageBand, adding reverb, adding, you know, doing your own EQs, a lot of stuff that you can learn on your own. However, I strongly suggest that you do not do any of these for the capture. You know, you can do this on your own for fun if you want to, but... For the producer, we want everything completely raw, untouched. Now you are ready to send your file. Pretty easy. So what you're going to do is you're going to mute the Q track. So I'm going to go to the Q track here and I'm going to mute it.
So now all I hear, all I will hear is this. You're also going to go ahead and uncheck these or unclick these. Okay, the one, two, three, four, and the little metronome. Also, you're gonna scroll all the way to the right here and you'll see this end marker right there. Uh, you wanna kind of bring that over to just the section of your capture. So to export, you go to share, export song to disc, and then name this properly. So on get vocal. All right, I'm gonna save it on my desktop. You want to make sure that it's saved as wave. Okay, it's the highest quality. You can leave this alone right here and don't check anything there and export and that's it. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Good luck and I hope you guys create some awesome music. Thanks.